All right, so let's get to this unboxing here. So, um, so yeah, TCL is, you know, you know them for making a lot of great TVs for great prices. And um, last year I reviewed their 10 Pro, which is a, a good phone, especially for the kind of the mid-range type of price. Now, these phones aren't trying to compete with, you know, the S21 Ultra or, or anything. They're around, you know, the $500 price point. Um, and basically they aim at that mid-range market. And one of the best things that I liked about last year with the 10 uh, with the 10 Pro was just that the display was fantastic. It's an awesome display for this price range. So I expect a really good display, especially coming from a company that uh, knows a thing or two about making things that you look at. Um, but yeah, for this unboxing, we're going to get into it. Again, if you have any questions or you just want to hop, uh, holla at me in the chat, please, please do that. If you're watching me for the first time, and again, hit the subscribe button on this channel and uh, all that other good stuff, you know, you know the deal. Follow me everywhere. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so TCL sent over this kind of reviewer's package um, with this cool backpack from North Face, which is actually pretty good. I think I think this is the Dino bag. I think that's the name of the bag, I'm assuming. Um, but yeah, I'm always a fan of a really good backpack, and this seems to be um, one that has some good padding on the back and will be good for like a day bag or something. So it has two handles here at the top, so that'll be good if I'm carrying like a... Uh, maybe things that are heavy, maybe a laptop or something, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. So we have, uh, I think this is going to be like a reviewer's guide, so we'll set that over here. And I don't know what this is. What is this? This might be a face cover. Okay, yeah, let me open this up. You know, the world is opening up, and we don't need these as much as we used to. It's nice. Let me go ahead and put this on. Let me rock this face cover real quick. I'm going to put this on. Oh, yeah. Getting my scorpion, my scorpion vibe here. This looks nice. This looks good. I like it. Not good for the fog under the glasses. Oh, actually, it's not too bad, so I fixed it a little bit. Anyway, there's the face mask. I digress. <laughs> so the face mask there, and uh, then also, too, to see what else we have in this pocket. So it looks like this is going to be uh, some lip balm, lip balm, and it looks like maybe some, what is it, sunblock. Okay. Maybe I'm going to get outdoors. And get outside. I have some cool uh, electric bike videos that I'm working on. So uh, one thing I've noticed is that I do need to start putting on sunscreen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, my skin is not as tough as it used to be. So uh, definitely appreciate that. All right. So in this pocket right here, the bag it looks like we just have a little open space here with some little um, compartments here, maybe to throw some batteries in there and things. But we have nothing else inside of there as far as what they sent. And let's get inside of here and see what we have in this main compartment. Oh, there we go, we got the phones. All right, so I already looked at that. Again, I had to look at it to get the, uh, to get the thumbnail. What's up, what's up, uh, Joe? What's up, Joe? Welcome to the party. And uh, let's see here what we have here. What is this? This is a, looks like a water bottle and it has some music on it. So yeah, I do follow a bunch of people who also got this pack. So I do know this one uh, does have a built-in speaker and a water bottle, which I've never used. So that, that's kind of cool. This is cool. All right, got the TCL branding on there. And it looks like this is going to, what is this? The, uh, yeah, we have a micro USB port right there to be able to get this thing charged up. You know, I'm really interested. I'm assuming this is the speaker right here. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, yeah. This is going to be dope to try to try out. I'm going to turn that on. Oh, it needs to be charged. That would be fun to try to try. I might, I might plug this in and charge it by the time we get done with the stream. But that's, that's kind of cool. That's really cool. That's probably worth a review by itself, a water bottle with a freaking Bluetooth speaker inside of it. All right, so let's see what we have here. So this is going to be the executive power bank, official executive. I like that. It's like your regular power bank. It's going to be an, an executive one. All right, so, okay, look, oh, look at this. It has some suction cups on the back. It looks like you'll be able to just kind of put that on the back of your phone and that will keep it in place. And is this wireless as well? It was 8,000 milliamp hours as far as it, and let me see. Type C, Brad will let me know. Oh yeah, yeah, it does, it's wireless charging as well. So it looks like, yeah, it does have a couple of ports here, USB type A ports, uh, USB C port, micro USB port right there. And then, yeah, so you can use this wired or wireless, which is dope, which is nice. You know what, already so far, I have to be honest with you, like this bag, like I, I've done a lot of unboxings over the years and you know, they get kind of like, all right, we do the same thing over. So I like these kind of like extra stuff 
uh, that these companies are starting to do here, especially TCL. They've always been good about this. So I appreciate that. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna try that out. That definitely ha that has wireless charging. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got a couple more things inside of here. Looks like we have some sunscreen spray. We got some hand sanitizer, insect repellent, insect bite release spray, and after sun spray. What is the after sun spray? So after you, hopefully your sunscreen work, you put that after sun spray on. I haven't tried that. I might try that live. I'll take my shirt off. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'll get a copyright strike if I take my shirt off right now. I'm a little out of, uh, out of shape here. All right, so anyway, <laughs> we got a couple more things inside of the back. Uh, let's take a look at this stuff here. And let me switch to this camera angle here. I think this one should be good. And my audio still should be good as well. All right, so we're gonna get a little closer here. So what is this? This is going to be, oh, it looks like it might be a little multi-tool. And my time in the military will tell you that you can never have enough multi-tools. One in every bag. So we got some pliers, got a bunch of stuff in there. I'm liking that. And it's small too, it's compact. So a lot of the multi-tools that get a little bit bigger than this. So this one is really small. And this is something that, especially if you work with the, uh, if you work with like uh, camera equipment and stuff to keep in your camera bag, that's definitely a good thing to have. You never know when you need to, to tighten something up. And Cedar Creek Outdoors, so this is going to be, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, maybe I, 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 I recognize the, uh, the name. Uh, so it looks like we got a flashlight here. All right. Oh, and I tried to turn it on, but of course the batteries dropped down, but I didn't see that. So a nice little flashlight here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it looks like this was definitely aimed at, you know, getting outdoorsy, kind of a little like electronics care package here. So I like this. Oh, I almost forgot this thing here over on, over on the side. Let me clear this. Let me clear this out a little bit. So it looks like this is a case for the 20 Pro. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out right now. But of course, we're going to have to get the uh, phone out of the box here before we see how it looks. Let me put that over there. A little texture back on there and accessorize. I think that's the name of the company that makes it. So, so far, looks good. All right, cool. All right, so what we're gonna do now is get to the main star of the show. I'm gonna get things cleared out over here a little bit. I'm gonna get to actually the main stars of the show since we are unboxing two phones today. And how's everybody doing in the chat room? Which phone do you wanna see first? Let me know in the chat. You want to see the TCL 20 SE or the 20 Pro 5G? Let me know. Let me know in the chat. Which one uh, do you want to see me unbox first? Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, Brad, let me know. It does come with wireless charging and a speaker and a water bottle. Yeah, Darnell, yeah, it looks like this thing, uh, so it's in the, uh, looks like it's going to be in the cap. So that's dope. This is dope. This, I mean, again, this might be honestly worth the uh, review by itself. I don't know the, the name of the company that, makes this maybe leads i don't know it's a little stick on the bottom that says leads that might be the name of the company that makes it but that's cool I haven't seen that um the suction cups are a little weird <laughs> uh morning from malaysia oh mka malaysia th th that's the best thing about youtube just interacting with y'all all around the world never been to malaysia uh, Tony, awesomeness for sure, for sure. All right, Monica wants to see the Pro. Uh, so Joe wants to see the, the 5G Pro, uh, the Pro 5G. Uh, MKA wants to see the SE. Uh, Inchi Incholes, again, I'm gonna mess up your names. So he wants to see the Pro 5G. Uh, Tony wants to see either both. They uh, look great. All right, so it looks like we have a, a majority there for the TCL Pro 5G, and I, I kind of expected that. That's the that's the, the, the creme de la creme out of this launch of the three phones. All right, so let's go ahead and get that unboxed first. And you know what? I should have uh, made this angle a little bit closer with my... Actually, I can change this a little bit. Let me go ahead and change this live for you because I want to zoom in. Actually, I'm not going to mess with, mess with it in OBS. Let me just zoom in with the camera. Let me go old school. Let me turn my ICO, uh, ISO up a little bit. All right, so right there, make sure I turn it down when I do zoom, zoom back out. All right, so we've got the TCL 20 Pro 5G here, and I believe the uh, retail price of this is going to be 500 bucks. I believe that is right. Um, yeah, I can get this on Amazon. And so, yeah, follow-up to the 10 Pro that came out. So let's go ahead and get inside of this bad boy. Where is my knife at? Where is my knife? All right. 
Got my uh, jerry rig everything knife here. <laughs> I'm so glad it came out with this. All right, so we'll go ahead and get inside of that tape. And let me close this up. Let me see what we got here. All right. Boom. There we go. We got the foam and display greatness. Let's set that to the side for now. And it looks like we have a, another case in here. So it comes with a clear case. So if you want some instant protection, you can go ahead and just use this for protection of your phone. Uh, then we have a uh, USB, uh, USB type A wall charger. Interesting, you don't see many of those. You usually see type C these days, but the USB type A. And then also we do have just the USB cable. I don't need to take that out. All right, we'll leave that in there. All right, so that's the, that's the kind of the, the corporate stuff there with the uh, chargers and the paperwork, but I know what you wanna see. You wanna see the phone, and I don't know why I'm still holding the charger. Let me put that over here. I got so many things on this desk <laughs> right now. All right, so we got the uh, TCL 20 Pro 5G right here, so let's get this thing out of this protective wrapping. And I'm just going for it here. I'm just going for it. Woo -wee! Look at that. That looks nice. All right, so just in comparison to the uh, 10 Pro that came out last year, it looks like with the camera layout, they're going with the vertical layout versus the horizontal layout um, from last year. But this has a, uh, a matte finish on the back, so it's not super glossy, which I like, especially for recording videos. A lot of phones that have that super shiny back, it makes it so hard with the reflections. But you know what? I'm liking the back of this. And I'm liking actually the placement of the logo too because it got, a, it got a, everything pretty much on the side. So all this back right here is super clean. So yeah, I'm definitely liking the, uh, the difference here uh, between the 10. And I would say as far as like weight and stuff, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel a significant difference. I don't have the numbers here in front of me to, to know which one is lighter or uh, the dimensions, but they feel pretty similar. Looks like the 20 Pro may be a little bit taller. Yeah, a little bit taller, maybe even a little bit thicker, maybe, but nothing too drastic there. So anyway, I'm liking the way it feels and looks. And let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. So this does have a 6.4 inch AMOLED display. Um, so it is full HD plus. All right. So you're going to be getting, let's see if I have some juice in here, some battery. Um, so you will be getting a 2400 by 1080 uh, resolution here on the screen. Uh, and 394 PPI at 20 by 9 aspect ratio and has 93% screen to body ratio. And I've memorized all that, so I'm not actually looking at that information on the screen. You can trust me. I memorized all of that. I'm joking. I didn't. <laughs> I got everything right here on the side. All right. Check in the chat real quick I was get, as we get this thing turned on. You should check uh, the multi-tool for a knife. Oh, you know what? I should have. I should have used that. You had me covered. Uh, that's why TCL gave me the multi-tool, yeah. <laughs> Fail. Uh, Monica, uh, you ready to read? And the backpack looks really cool. Yeah, you know, actually, I mean, I'm a, I have so many backpacks. That's one thing that I collect almost more than anything is like, I have so many different backpacks for so many different occasions. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go through the setup process here. And I'm gonna do this real quick. So I'm gonna go over to the chat and highlight you guys in the chat while I get this thing set up and connected on my network real quick. I'm not gonna do the entire set. I'm just gonna try to get inside of this as fast as possible. So where's everybody from? Where's everybody watching? I know we got somebody in here from Malaysia. Where are you all from? That's the one thing about doing a phone unboxing, trying to get the set up. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to make small chat. Some small chat here, some small, did I say small chat? Small talk. Actually, that, that does apply here for live streaming. I'm trying to make small chat. Joe's from Houston, H-Town. Washington State, all right. I love Washington. I love it. I don't mind the little drizzle, the constant drizzle of rain up in Washington. I don't mind it at all. It's peaceful. I love the rain. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, all righty. Home to LeBron James. Actually, I got a cool package here too from uh, Microsoft. Like I'm actually, I'm, I'm super excited about that. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to debate whether I should unbox it live and just do a video for it. Um, but it's their, like they already sent it out to some people, but it's, it's their Space Jam um, from Xbox Game Pass and their uh, Space Jam controllers. That, I just got that in, I'm so excited, I'm so pumped for that. Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, I said Trinidad, my bad. <laughs> Monica from Atlanta, Georgia, GA. Hopefully the Hawks, I'm actually, it's gonna be an interesting series to see whether the Bucks or the Hawks, Hawks come out. 
I'm actually, I, I do want to kind of see if the Hawks come out. I like Atlanta. It's a heat wave. Oh, yeah. Old heat wave. That's that uh, old climate change. All right, so going through here, I'm going to skip uh, logging in to Gmail. Skip this, skip, skip, skip. I'm sitting here chatting. I'm not even logging in everything. All right, we're almost done here. All right. So this does have a fingerprint scanner underneath the display, and I don't think I can pull down the brightness slider there. But let me go ahead and get this set up. And let me set a pattern. And I know you're never going to see me in real life, but I don't want you to see my pattern. <laughs> Maybe one day you see me at CES or something, I leave my phone. <laughs> and you're going to be like, uh-oh, let's get in. I saw this on the live stream. All right, so let's see how this goes. Make sure you uh, press it. Uh, all right, there we go. I got to wait for the vibration. I got a little too excited there. All right. There we go. So which one are, are you guys more of a fan of? Do you like the under screen, under uh, the display fingerprint scanners, or do you like like the physical ones that still come on the back of some phones? No, I, I honestly, like, I really like the ones that come on the back. I'm still kind of liking those. Edge inputs. Let me get the edge. Very cool water bottle. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I look, the water bottle, man, I don't know. I don't know, Brad. Maybe y'all need to, you know, stop making phones for you and start, start making some water bottles with speakers, man. Like, that's, like, like a lot of people are interested. Like, I'm actually really, like, excited to try to try that out. I from North Korea. Uh, under screen, you like under screen uh, fingerprint scanners? You like facial recognition? Yeah, yeah. I like facial recognition too as well. I use a combination for sure. All right, we're just going to go with that one. And I speak, speaking of facial recognition, actually, let me go ahead and set this up. All right. I'm trying to stand tall so you can see it on the screen. And that's, I'm like, you know, one thing I've noticed, man, we're so spoiled with like facial recognition and fingerprint scanning. Like, look how fast that was. That was crazy. Crazy fast. All right, so getting the phone ready, we're almost done with this. So the backpack can be for my, my evening wear. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing I can't wait. I can't wait to really get back to traveling, man. Hearing my voice is pure nostalgia. I oh, appreciate that, Joshua. I have a voice for radio, face for radio, everything for radio. <laughs> I think I might start walk, rocking my glasses, man. It goes with my age, too. I guess the older you get, you got to start putting some specs on. Uh, it's either that or I, I have to go ahead and get LASIK, man. All right, so anyway, choose my dominant hand. I am right-handed. And all right, so we're taking a look at the, uh, oh, I can't bring down the brightness, but the NXT Vision. So this is going to be using basically taking the videos that you're watching on this screen. And this is one of the things I really, really like with the 10 Pro. And it just takes your, your content that you're getting from anywhere on YouTube or you're watching movies and just kind of bumps up everything, bumps up the quality of it. And... Um, so yes, yeah, it's at image enhancement, video and game enhancement as well. So it can enhance the color and contrast and depth of videos and games uh, to provide HDR quality viewing. So that one, that's one thing that definitely is going to be good. And I'm going to go with just this, uh, should I do the app drawer? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Do everything standard. Lock screen stand up, setup, TCL standard. All right, setup complete. And there we go. Sorry, I skipped the uh, user program, Brad. I know. <laughs> All right, so this is rocking. Oh, close it. So this is going to be rocking. Let me make sure I get the brightness down. Uh, so this does have Android 11 as far as the software on it, but they do have their own custom skin on top of it. Um, and so you see, take a look at the icons there. It's all right. You know, one thing I wish, like, honestly, I, I definitely wish they probably just went with, like, stock. Just go with pure stock Android. You know, we don't see those, that, that many of those phones out there like that, but, yeah. But I have to say that skin is not that bad at all. Definitely not the worst uh, like skin that you've seen on Android phones. It's, it's not trying to do too much from what I remember. And I don't know as, as far as like as many changes that they've made with this one. 
um, over the, the 10 Pro, but I think you are going to be getting at least two major software uh, updates, which is good. So you have at least two major software uh, updates coming with this, as far as the promise. And yeah, that's good. Seems to flow pretty well. What's the refresh rate? It's going to be 60 hertz. So um, yeah, you get 60 hertz with the refresh rate. Now around, around this price range and also to, I mean, you'll, you'll find phones that do have 90 hertz refresh rates and even some um, that have 120 hertz refresh rate. So yeah, I kind of wish it did have at least 90, at least 90. Um, now this is a, a budget phone, this, so this one is going to be 499, but definitely one of the things I want to see next year with the next phone is, is 90 hertz. Because again, it's already like, I haven't even, even messed around with it that much, uh, but it is a, a really nice display. And it is curved too, it does have some curves on it. Uh, it's not super aggressive as far as the curves, but it still does have that. So I'm fine with that. Let me actually compare that to the 10 Pro. I think the 10 Pro does have a little bit more curve to it on the uh, display. So less curve is better for sure. Um, super flat, like uh, I like a flat display, but it doesn't have to be always completely flat. So I'm not too bothered by the curve. Because one of the issues that you get with curved displays may be that accidental like, you know, input with your finger or something. But yeah. So uh, MKA says uh, stock Android. Yeah, I like stock Android. I should unbox the new iPad. I actually already did. Did I unbox? I don't think I unboxed that live. No, I didn't. So I unboxed the, um, um, the Logitech uh, uh, keyboard case for it. So I boxed that live. But yeah, I already, uh, I didn't do a live unboxing of the iPad. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. That's how many live streams I've been doing. <laughs> all right, so we got that phone there. So all right, so this is the, uh, uh, the 20 Pro 5G. So yeah, it does have built-in 5G capabilities as well. Um, so look, I think it will just be doing sub-6 though, so you don't get millimeter wave. And let me check the, uh, the stats here as far as like which carriers. So I know T-Mobile will have it. Uh, let me make sure I get that right. All right, so so it'll be compatible with most GSM networks at launch. So that includes T-Mobile's 5G and 4G um, and AT&T 4G. And then for Verizon, it will be supporting low band 5G and 4G in the coming weeks. All right. Now, what else do you want to know about this? Um, yeah, so you got a 4,500 milliamp battery inside of it. Inside of it, you do have six gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 750G inside of it. So yeah, it's not you don't get like the Snapdragon 888, um, but this is a really good good platform as as far as Qualcomm is concerned. And it, it, again, and it, I really think the important thing is also just getting you 5G as well. Um, oh, for the cameras. So let's go ahead and talk about the camera. So. It does have a uh, main 48 megapixel sensor inside of here. It does have a depth camera. It does have a macro camera as well. Um, and so one of the things that I really want to test is just the quality of that. And I think I can go ahead and do that right now. So I have a little friend right here. You might recognize him. So again, the best test for this is definitely going to be to, uh, to be uh, getting outside as I like to do for, for my camera reviews. Um, but since I can't take you outside live, at least like right now, I'm going to be... Uh, Making sure we get that, and let me go ahead and get this camera up. And let's see. Give the permissions, no location. And all right, so let me make sure I go through here. Let me turn the flash off. And one thing, oh, when it comes to video reviews, one thing you have to make sure, I, I, I sometimes forget, is to make sure you go into the camera settings and turn um, the settings from 1080p up to 4K. I gotta turn down the, uh, the auto screen off here. So let me make sure everything is good. Photo size is good. So yeah, I can do 4K video at 30 frames per second with this. And let me see. All right, so I think that might be good. And you can turn the auto HDR, we got that on. And all right, so let's take a photo real quick. This is indoors, so not the best all around ideal. Let's get a little close there. All right, see what we're working with here. Yes, you can have access. Okay, can y'all see that? Decent amount of detail there. All right, let me go to the other photo. Nope, nope, where is it at? Let me go to the gallery. All right, okay. 
So one thing I like what I'm expecting from TCL, I'm not expecting the best cameras in this price range. And that's just to, just be just to be honest with you. So on the 10 Pro, that's one of the, the kind of the weaker points of it was the cameras. Um, and like they're good, but I'm not expecting like pixel level performance when it comes to the cameras. Um, I did hear that the front facing camera was um, improved and people were really liking that. So let me go ahead and take a selfie here with the front facing camera and we make sure everything is on for that. All right, let me go ahead and say cheese here. See how we look. I'm liking the preview. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, you don't want to see the close up of that. <laughs> All right, so it, is, it does look blown out on the, uh, the camera here. It doesn't look blown out in person. Let me turn the brightness down of the screen. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right. All right, so yeah, that looks a little better. I'm liking that. Looks good. Looks good. Highlights aren't blown out. I'm actually really liking that for, as far as the selfie. So just off of rip, like I'm liking the uh, front facing photo. And I, I was gonna say a better than the rear facing photo, rear, rear facing camera, but again, I am pointing down at my desk and I got the studio lights and stuff like that. So this is with the studio lights looking right in front of me. But I'm liking it, looks good. As far as selfies, looks really good. I'm liking that so far. What y'all think about it? And a camera the 10 Pro was really good in your test. Yeah, th like the camera was good. The camera was good. Just like I use so many different phones. And uh, but, so that's the one area, like every, every phone has like areas they can improve on. And that's, that's the one thing that most, like most phones, um, like the cameras like, is that area where you can see improvement on. So yeah, I'll be testing that for my review. But with the front face of the camera, it does, off of my memory it does look better <laughs> from, from what it was on the 10 Pro. So that's definitely a good improvement. Now let's tell you just waiting on the new Pixel. Finally, looks like they are going for it. Uh, yeah, with the Pixel 6. Yeah, we'll see that uh, hopefully soon. Yeah, so it has 18 watt wire charging and 15 watt wireless charging that you get with this phone. And also does have micro SD card slot as well. So you can expand that up to, uh, I believe, one terabyte of storage. And so you can get go ahead and get some extra storage in there if you want. But yeah, it does come with uh, 256 gigabytes of storage. So this is, um, oh, one thing I did like too on the, uh, on the 10 Pro, it did have an IR blaster. So yeah, it still does have that IR blaster right there. So you can um, use this to control your TV too. So of course, TCL will be one of the only few phones that has an IR blaster. It does have a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack here at the top as well. And it's always very interesting. A lot of the budget phones still have that, that, uh, that headphone jack. And that's what a lot of people still want. You know, everybody isn't like pure wireless right now. So you, you do get that. Um, still on this phone and it does have a mono speaker so no stereo speakers here um, so watching videos and stuff on this is going to definitely be good as far as the screen but because of that mono speaker we'll see how it sounds here though let me see if it does have some music on here already no, I don't think it has any music on here yet let me go to YouTube let me go to the old YouTube and see what it has Yeah, Tony, yeah, the selfie cam, the selfie cam is really good. Just from my quick impressions, the selfie cam is good. And yeah, this is the uh, Moon Dust Gray as well. I think I saw somebody ask that earlier. And it comes in two colors. Uh, the other color is blue. And I think it's, what is it? It's not sky, I think it's marine blue as far as the color. Yeah, Ryan, the IR blaster, something's good. Something good, I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna mess around with it. All right, so let me go ahead and check out the, uh, the, the mono speaker here real quick. Let me find a good video to watch. Let me watch the, oh, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do anything with NBC. No copyright here. All right, let me do this one.
So yeah, again, as a, uh, if you didn't hear before, this phone does have that NXT vision. So it's going to be able to kind of make everything you're watching just a little bit better. Just like it does their own kind of adjustment to increase just the quality. And for the sake of the video, for the sake of the stream, I had the brightness down a little bit lower than I would be using it. So it's just definitely darker right now. So I can't get the full effect of it. But if it's anything like last year, it's going to be one of easily one of the best of displays that you can get for around this price range when it comes to a phone like this. But you know what? That model speaker is actually pretty loud, though. Good, good detail. Not bad. So again, ideally, I would want stereo speakers, but mono speakers gets loud. All right, so let's go ahead and hit up the chat here as I get ready to do the second unboxing of this stream, the 20SE, which is going to be the uh, the most affordable version. Uh, of the most affordable phone that TCL is launching in this batch of phones. They are launching a total of three. So I wanted to see, like, to check out the, the, the Pro, right, the top of the line as far as this, this launch. And then also, too, the one that if you're trying to be more kind of price conscious, this is going to be the good one uh, that you can check out. Yeah, Ryan, the speaker sound, sounds all right for a mono speaker. Stereo, of course, will, will be the best, but sounds all right. uh animal berries what happened to me man less videos less reviews everything good bro i'm still making content man you know the reality is just basically look i've been doing this for quite a long time and if you go back and watch my videos like i still have a decent amount of videos coming out um, but i am doing a lot more live streams it just seems more fun it's less you know editing <laughs> for sure um i'm doing some more amazon live streams as well uh, but i'm still pumping out content i got i got a bunch of reviews that i have to get done that i'm working on right now but i'm hanging in there man Over 15 years in the game. The one thing I honestly would tell you, and especially just like a quick little kind of for all the younger creators out there, you know, you've been doing this for so long. Burnout is real. So you got to make sure, I, like I, I know for a fact I've made sure that I don't try to get burned out anymore. Um, I used to, back in the day when I was in my early 20s, I used to grind, grind, grind all the time. Now you got to pace yourself a little bit to be able to keep things going. And I, the one thing I will say, if you haven't seen my videos in a while, go back and watch some of my, my latest videos. I'm really, I'm really happy with the quality of the stuff that I'm putting out, but that's only because I slowed down a little bit. Tony uh, Lives Rock. Uh, so CH Gadgets, TC, you wish TCL went with a stereo speaker setup um, on the flagship. Yeah, I wish I did have stereo speakers for sure. All right. So now let's get to the second unboxing. This is the TCL 20 SE. And where's that multi-tool? <laughs> I don't now I know where it is. Where did I put it? Oh, here we go. We got it. So I'm gonna use the multi-tool here for the unboxing. All right, so we get this thing open here. Let me, where is a knife at? Where is that? Where is a knife? Well, that should be, uh, that'll be good enough. All right, so let's get this in here. Boom, 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 like so. All right, 20 SE. So again, this is the, the more affordable option out of the three phones. So I think you can get this for around 190 bucks. So under $200 for this phone, which is going to be a good price point. And you'll be surprised these days what you can get for around this price range now. So this also does come with a clear case. And I didn't show you the uh, 20 Pro with the clear case, but I'll show you that in a second. Uh, then also we have a USB Type A charge inside of there. Then also we have USB cable. And yeah, we don't need to see everything else. Quick start guide, more paperwork, all that stuff. Just going to put that to the side as well. All right. So here it is, 20 SE. Going to take this out of this last little wrapping there. And let's get this sticker off of the back. Peel that off. Boom, boom, boom. And let's go ahead and get this one off of here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these specs. So this has a bigger screen than the uh, uh, than the 20 Pro. So this has a 6.82 only HD plus though display. Uh, high res audio, uh, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So it does have a bigger battery as well. Um, HDR, 48 megapixel camera there. So this has 128 gigabytes of storage compared to, to the 256 um, that you get with the, uh, the 20 Pro. And this also does have four gigabytes of RAM compared to the uh, six gigabytes of RAM that you get with the Pro. All right, so definitely a bigger phone. A little bit of a chunkier phone. Where is it at? 
a little bit of a chunkier phone than this than the uh, 20 Pro, but also too just bigger in general. But you do get a bigger display. It's going to get this thing powered on. But actually, it looks a lot heavier than what it is. It might actually be lighter than the freaking 20 Pro. <laughs> I'm not even not quite sure. Let me look up the uh, the specs real quick. So the uh, 20 SE is 206 grams, and the 20 Pro is 190 grams. So I, all right. I stand corrected. The 20 Pro field is, is, is lighter than it, but I don't know. And, and then that's probably just because it's more spread out because you have a bigger phone here. So not that bad. Now, this does have a fingerprint scanner on the back. Speaking of that, this does have a fingerprint scanner on the back compared to the one that lives underneath the display here on the 20 Pro. But you also have this vertical layout here uh, with the four cameras on the back uh, with this SE. And you get the TCL branding right here. So a lot of similarities there. And I'm going to get this thing start it up as well. I'll take a look at the chat room while I'm getting this thing booted up. Um, how does it feel compared to the 20 Pro? It, it, it has a more plasticky feel um, compared to the 20 Pro. The 20 Pro should feel more premium and it does feel more premium. Um, so yeah, it doesn't like it doesn't feel as premium, but it doesn't feel cheap. If that makes sense. Now the fingerprints because this has a little bit more of a glossy um, of a glossy finish, you will see the fingerprints and stuff on here a little bit more compared to the uh, 20 Pro. But yeah, it's a bigger phone, but it's not heavy. That's the one big thing. But it's not like super gigantic. Uh, yeah, bro, do more live unboxings. Uh, do live unboxings more. No, no need for editing. Yeah, for sure, MK. So yeah, I do. Ha I do. I still have videos that I'm going to be editing and putting that polish on them and stuff. I can't do all my videos that I want to do live, but. Uh, yeah, but I still want my live stream to look good, too. So hopefully this looks good. Hopefully everything is sounding good. I still want my presentation to look good. But the interaction right now with the chat makes it definitely a lot more fun. Uh, Ryan, uh, you've been watching since day one. Oh, I appreciate that. Appreciate that, man. Do y'all remember what year y'all started watching me? <laughs> I think I started, I started doing this like crazy like college videos on YouTube back in uh, 2000. And I think it's part of my first video in 2006. All right, so let me skip all of this. Let me, all right, let me log in here. Yeah, just glad that I still have the uh, the feeling for tech. Oh yeah, keep it up. Oh yeah, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, I still get the feeling. I still get the feeling for tech. Uh, does the SE come with an IR blaster? No. So the SE does not have a, uh, an IR blaster. You still get a headphone jack at the top, though. So you still get that headphone jack at the top. Um, looks like you have the SIM card tray on the left-hand side. I don't know if this does come with micro SD, though. Let me double check. Yeah, it does come with the micro SD card slot. And it looks like it does come in two storage configurations. So it looks like you can get this in either 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes. But both of them come with four gigabytes of RAM. RAM. Wait, this does have dual speakers. Is that right? The 20 SE has dual speakers. So they're definitely making it hard to choose between the two if you're looking at just at some, of these, uh, some of these specs here. That's cool. That's dope. All right. So to get inside of this thing here. So the display definitely is a step down from the 20 Pro as you should expect as I'm just looking at it here. The viewing angles aren't as good as what you get with the 20 Pro. But again, it's a cheaper phone. It's under $200. So you can't have your expectations be that high. But just from like using it, you think under $200, you might think just, you know, bad, super bad. That's not the case with this. Feels good. Uh, CH, you started watching back in 2014. Oh, that's the, oh yeah. It's good old seven years. Good old seven years of watching. <laughs> Two 
2014. Uh, how about the uh, the charging speed? So yeah, compared to the um, compared to the 20 Pro, so with the charging with this, you're going to be getting uh, 18 watt charging wired. It does not have any wireless charging. Oh, almost done setting up. You know what? One thing I do need to add to these live streams is some music. That's the one thing with, with, the, with the phones, because I have this set up, so I want to add some background music. I need to do that. Actually, let me skip this. Skip, skip, skip. Skip everything. Skip that. Skip that. Yeah, you can buy these uh, phones on, on Amazon. And um, yeah, this 20 SC comes in two colors, green and black. Brad in here is like, like a moderator. You need to come to all my streams. <laughs> so yeah, this also does have that NXT vision as well, uh, as we talked about before. Uh, with the uh, 20 Pro, just kind of using their this software, using their kind of their knowledge to make things that you are watching on here better. And we still have that same stuff with the home screen styles and boom, boom, boom. I agree to everything. Skip, skip, skip. All right. Boom, there we go. So just for the sake of just me looking at this real quick, I'm going to turn the brightness all the way up. I know it's going to look like crap here on the stream. Not bad. Let me get this. Let me get the uh, 20 Pro on here. All right, so it looks like the, the fingerprint scanner takes a couple of times there. Might need to register it multiple times. So again, I know this looks like crap to you. Okay. Okay, SC. Now SC does have a flat display. So look, there's a legit reason to why you might wanna go with the, uh, the SE <laughs> over, over the Pro. Because it does have like a flat, it has a flat screen, um, dual speakers, bigger screen. So there might be some reason why you might want to go for that. And I think this phone is really for, when you look at phones for around this price point, it's just for a lot of people who, they're not, they may not necessarily like want, like they don't need like the latest and greatest phone, but they, they just need a phone. And maybe their phone they've been using for a few years is old and, you know, the battery sucks and all those different things. And I, I just know a lot of people that they just want a phone that's priced really well, you know, for around $250. Uh, but this phone, this, this SC coming in at around $180, bucks, $190, bucks, really good price point. And that's the thing. So when I look at these phones, again, I'm not like, I, I use a lot of phones, but a lot of stuff doesn't like piss me off. But I'm looking at this phone and I just like, Getting the price out of my head, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel cheap. That's the thing. It's a cheap phone that doesn't feel cheap, right? It's a less expensive phone that doesn't feel cheap so far. Let me get, let me load up this camera real quick. Let me take a photo. Let me get old Yoda. And I'm going to get that. Let me get a little close up. Focus in as fast. And actually, let me go ahead and do this right now. Make sure I change the uh, <laughs> the video. Let's go ahead and see the uh, resolution here. So this is going to be topping out at 1080p um, at 30 frames per second. That's compared to the 4K 30 that you can do on the 20 Pro. And let me go ahead and take a selfie as well while I'm at it. I got my specs on. I'm feeling cute today. <laughs> all right, let me get this. And this is my default face that I do in all my selfies. All right, got a couple of pictures there, but again, I, I really can't wait to take this thing outside to really uh, test it out even more. You have my permission. Okay. All right, let's see. So I was moving a little bit, so it's a little soft. So it looks like you're definitely gonna be, make sure you stand, you, you hold the phone as still as possible, but that's just one. Okay, yeah, this one is a little bit sharper. This one's definitely better. So with this phone looks like you're going to have to pay a little bit of attention to them, like moving around when you are taking the photos. Doesn't look that bad. Detail in the back. Get my TV back there. Looking good. Me mid-sentence. 
All right. And this is with the uh, rear facing camera. Not bad. Again, on the stream, it's not going to look as uh, good as it does in person. All right. So it looks a little like I would like to see a little bit more punch in the color here, a little bit more saturation in the photo. Um, the wood on the back doesn't look as brown as it actually is. But again, I, I do have a lot of studio light, so the top down shot, maybe not, maybe not a really good test of it right now. But the front facing camera. Okay, that one's a little soft. Let me go to the other one. This one's better, yeah. All right, so I, I just definitely just gotta make sure I hold the phone a little bit more steady. But I'm liking that front facing camera. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Front facing cameras on both of these phones seem to be pretty solid. Not bad for 200, yeah. That's the thing, $200 is like, it's a really good price point to get underneath and have a phone that you can like recommend. So again, I, I need to test this phone out a little bit more, but just off of first impressions, if somebody says, hey man, look, I'm looking for a phone. I don't need all the bells and whistles, but I want something that's good and you don't mind Android, then yeah, it's a good price point. I don't review a lot of phones under $200. So yeah, 100, 190 bucks for this, not bad. How are the speakers? Yeah, let me test the speakers out real quick. Uh, yeah, NXT Vision seems cool. Just about to ask about the SE, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up a video here on YouTube and make sure I have it installed. And let's see which video I wanna play. I'm gonna miss the Beast video. Got to add. I haven't logged into YouTube Premium on here. This is a real prison and me and the boys are gonna try to survive the next 50 hours locked up here. Get in here, chance gets a wall. There is okay. a wall. I'm just gonna do what he says. So this does have dual speakers, so it's not stereo speakers. It does have dual speakers. Um, so the speakers are, let me turn this down a little bit. So the speakers are both on the bottom of the phone. And let me go back, close out YouTube. Okay, now YouTube wants to crash, really? <laughs> really, YouTube? You don't want to work? Screw you. I hate YouTube. I'm joking. I love YouTube. All right, let me go to YouTube Music. Let me try that. You have to log in, though, for YouTube Music. Oh God, everything is crashing. Settings not. Everything Google's crashing. Even the messages. Oh, the messages works. Hmm. Let's see, I might have to do a restart. Uh-oh, maybe it's working. We'll see. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try this again. This is a real prison, and me and the boys are going to try to survive the next 50 hours locked up here. Get in here. Chance against the wall. There against the wall. I'm just going to do what he says. I am officially locked in prison with Nolan. How's it going? Not good. Basically, me, Nolan, and all my other friends agreed to spend 50 hours in prison. How's it going, boys? I, I feel right at home. Just so we're clear, we are going to be treated exactly like inmates. Okay. So... So far, one, one advantage that you do have of the dual speakers on the bottom of them, um, the, the dual speakers, well, first, I'll say they, they don't sell, sound better than the one single speaker um, on the 20 Pro. But one advantage you do have is that um, if you are holding the phone in, like, landscape, like, typically, like, right now, you see my, my meat <laughs> of my hand, it typically blocks the speaker down there. You see I have this one at the top, so you can still get good audio when you're holding the phone and watching uh, the videos on it. But, yeah, just comparison to the uh, 20 Pro speaker, the 20 Pro is just single speaker. Um, does sound does sound better. <laughs> TCL the crash leader. That's funny. Uh, yeah, Mr. Beast, uh, you received. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> that message is for me. Uh, this over the Redmi Note 10 5G. By the way, Note 10 5G have MediaTek uh, 700 5G. I haven't used the uh, Redmi Note 10 yet, so I can't say. I can't say at all, just at this moment. Uh, so I'm not watching the uh, Stanley Cup. No, I didn't know the Stanley, the Stanley Cup. I don't follow hockey really that much. I know I'm in St. Louis, and we got the St. Louis Blues, but 
Um, I haven't been following hockey. I've been I've been watching a lot of uh, NBA uh, the NBA playoffs. It's been really good. And I'm a big tennis fan, MMA fan, but yeah, I haven't really been paying attention to uh, to hockey. Seems like they might be getting a little bit overshadowed. We got the Olympics. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. I love this chat right here. Shout out to the Bucks, Ricky, going for the Bucks. Yeah, it's gonna like I love that. Like, I, look, I'm a LeBron James fan, so look, I I, I want I want to see LeBron James go all the way. But it is kind of fun to know that to have the Brooklyn Nets out, to also have the Lakers out. So you know you're gonna get somebody who's um, you know has a good chance to be just be a new champion this year, a new team, and especially for these different markets, so Milwaukee and especially Atlanta. Uh, then you have Phoenix, right? You got these good good squads here. It'd be interesting to see what the Clippers can do. L.A. is a big market, but Clippers fans, you know, they haven't uh, had a lot of luck in the past. So, so it's going to be good. If I had to put my money on a team right now, I'm kind of feeling the Phoenix a little bit right now. If they can pull it all together, uh, we'll see. But uh, I would love to see maybe, I don't know. I think my, I would like to see Phoenix versus Atlanta. I think, oh, Ice Trey and Booker, that would be fun. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if the geek, the, the Greek freak, and I said the geek freak. <laughs> that should be my new nickname, the geek freak. <laughs> I said the Greek freak. The geek freak. I'm, I think I might go with that. I might make a shirt for that. <laughs> uh, have I seen the uh, Infinix con concept phone with this 160 watt charger? No, no, I haven't seen that yet. That's crazy. That is so crazy fast. Yeah, the charging speeds for these phones are getting so, so up there. Just imagine, like, in five years where the standard is going to be when it comes to, to charging. That's going to be dope. All right, so, yeah, quick kind of comparison between the two phones. The 20 Pro feels more premium, as it should, uh, for 500 bucks. But this SE, this SE for 190 bucks doesn't feel cheap. That's the biggest thing, kind of, off of my first impressions and unboxing of these phones. Um, but, yeah, the biggest thing that I want to do with these phones uh, is definitely test out the cameras a little bit more. Uh, with the displays in, re in comparison with their prices, I'm liking them, um, especially on that 20 Pro. Um, just for my quick little hands-on with it, that NXC Vision does seem to be working, um, as it was working with that um, with the 10 Pro that I reviewed last year. And But, yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is just really testing out the cameras and also the battery life with this phone. Uh, but, yeah, having that headphone jack, IR blaster, really kind of unique things that TCL is still doing. And I think this is the clear case for, which one is this for? This is not the 20 Pro. Is this? Oh, yeah, it is. This one is for the 20 Pro. Clear case that comes inside of the box with this. Oh, they also did send another case that I unboxed. Now, let me see if I can find that. All right, so I have it over here. So we do have this case. Shoop, flip that around. Uh, that's going to give you a little bit more protection there, a little bit more premium feel. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, that's the case there for you. All right, so any last call for chat, chat, chat messages? Uh, easy work for the Bucks versus Suns. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who they got to, to stop Giannis. That's going to be a tough one. Sony, uh, yeah, the batteries need to be made better first, yeah, as far as, like, the, uh, the fast charging. Yeah, we'll see. You know, um, you know, fast charging has been a while, especially, like, with OnePlus phones and stuff. They've been... OnePlus phones, Oppo and stuff when it comes to fast charging. I haven't heard, like, any widespread concerns, though, yet. So, um, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, we've got some of these companies that are just really pushing the limit. But I guess it depends on how long you also plan on keeping your phone, you know. So, Ryan, yeah, yeah, I'll be doing a second. I, I might just do, like, a combo review of both of these phones and really show you some of the cameras and just give you my impressions over it. So, yeah, so th this video is just, like, an unboxing and first impressions um of the phone yeah no unbox therapy yeah i saw the thumbnail i saw a couple of people have the phone in hand so i need to watch that from uh from lou and check that out i think i might go do that right now for sure all right, so this is going to wrap up this unboxing, guys. Again, again, I thank you for joining me and 
hopping on this live stream, which I got some cool live streams coming up over some uh, other ideas that I want to do. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, the 20 Pro 5G and the 20 SE are available. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, decent prices. Again, 190 bucks for the 20 SE, uh, 500 bucks for the 20 Pro 5G. And uh, we'll see how these phones do stand up in two for my testing here. But I appreciate every one of you all coming out and joining me for this live stream here on this Monday. Is it Monday? Yeah, it is Monday. <laughs> my days, I'm still on like quarantine time. But I don't know what the day is. Uh, joining me here on this Monday. I appreciate all of you watching. If you are watching me for the first time live or watching this video, um, after I already got done live, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified when I go live next time so you can watch me live instead of watching me after I'm live. But for all of you watching live, I appreciate you guys joining through. And uh, yeah, over these streams, yeah, let me know how you like the quality of the stream and the format and all those different things. And I have some really just some more cool ideas for these live streams to kind of bump them up a little bit. So stay tuned for that. So, all right, I appreciate you. Thanks, Brad, for hopping on through. Uh, thanks, every, for everyone else, for coming through. Sony, I see you, everybody. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. I was about to say Ricky Bobby, but Ricky, Nico, Ryan, all of you. Thanks, Max, from earlier, everyone, for joining me. And I will catch you later. Peace.